Welcome to this video manuscript titled Classic vs. Millennial Medical Lab Anatomy. My name is Dr. Brian Benninger. I'm the Executive Director and Professor of the Medical Anatomy Center here in Lebanon, Oregon with Western University of Health Sciences. My author colleagues are Nick Matzler and Taylor Delamata. This study investigated the integration, implementation, and the use of donor cadavers, hospital radiology modalities, and surgical tools and AD technology within a medical anatomy lab course. Teaching anatomy has undergone the greatest fluctuation of any of the basic sciences during the past hundred years in order to accommodate the meteoric rise in molecular sciences. Classically, medical anatomy was taught over a two-year horizontal basic science curriculum. It has since morphed into a 12-week accelerated course, often in a vertical curriculum. So the methodology was to start with and address our donor cadavers, and then the technology within the medical anatomy lab, and then the techniques that would be applied within the medical anatomy lab. The type of uh, imaging modalities that we used um, with each particular cadaver was indeed row integrams or ordinary x-rays, and these were of the classic regions of the body. We imaged all of the donor cadaver specimens prior to them being dissected by entry-level medical anatomy students. The row integrams or x-rays of the body consisted of cervical spine, thoracic and lumbar spine x-rays, shoulder girdle, elbow, wrist, and joints of the fingers, as well as the humerus, radius, and ulna, and then the classic chest x-ray, abdominal x-ray, pelvic x-ray, and then x-rays of the lower limbs, which would have included the femur, and hip, knee, and ankle joints, as well as the joints of the foot. And so all the classic type of um, x-rays one might expect if you were to spend some time in a urgent care emergency room setting. Uh, we also got full body CT 3D exams, an MRI, and ultrasound of these donor cadavers prior to dissection. Lab technologies. The lab technologies included a uh, four eight foot by eight foot audio visual projector with screens, multiple flat screens that were 50 inch HD TV, a laparoscopic stack for scoping, light boxes for viewing images, a sky eye camera setup. Each donor cadaver patient station was supplied with surgical instruments that would allow you to do any procedure that one would do in an operating room. Also, ultrasound machines were provided in the lab during the medical um, lab dissection. The techniques that were used in the medical anatomy lab were filming using the sky eye camera called the anatomy grammys. Students practice interosseous cannulation for fluid replacement, intubation, pick lines, abdominal laparoscopy. They were also judged on the quality of their dissection. They went to 18 minute tutorials and rotated around while they were in the medical anatomy lab dissecting. They were responsible for producing a pathology report following dissection, and each group twice during the medical anatomy lab course gave a group presentation to the rest of their colleagues prior to going into the anatomy lab. We studied two cohorts, one receiving the simulation from the medical millennial anatomy lab, the other from a distant site which did not receive the same stimulation in the lab and had a more classic traditional dissection lab. Both cohorts took exactly the same didactic exams and lab examinations and were exposed to the same hours of lecture as well as lab time. The cohort that was exposed to multiple technologies in the lab scored significantly higher on the lab exams and their attendance and length of time spent in the lab was increased over the lab that was not receiving the same stimulation. We also asked the students to fill out a Likert scale study asking questions about their interest and what they enjoyed or did not enjoy about the stimulation within the lab. 
it was overwhelming the score on the Likert scale. Um, because it was subjective, we did not include that in our data set, but we did mention um, how high and overwhelming it was that the students um, particularly enjoyed that and actually were asked, was asking for more of it. This study suggests that a full body dissection and contemporary hospital technology can be integrated simultaneously during a medical anatomy lab course, prompting communication, teamwork, critical thinking, and professionalism. Lastly, I'd like the viewers or listeners appreciate that we have recorded this particular video manuscript using Google Glass, employing yet another form of innovation and technology. I hope you enjoy the manuscript itself in clinical anatomy. Thank you very much.